Alright, so this, as many of you already know, is Squidward. Squidward is a quad uh, that will probably be the robot that I use in Mech Wars Warfare uh, at Robo Games 2009. Um, just for a comparison, there's Charlie. Charlie's a much bigger robot, um, much heavier robot also. Uh, Squidward, everything's nice and consolidated. Um, also, you can see Squidward's legs are articulated differently than Charlie's are. Uh, they're pretty much traditional servo brackets, although I made them from scratch, um, and they allow the legs to move much further underneath the robot for better centralization. Squidward's also much uh, smaller, and the weight's more centralized, so Squidward should run a little bit better. Um, one difference is the camera on Squidward is not pan tilt, um, and I haven't mounted any guns or anything like that. As far as holding Squidward up while I make the leg motions, built a nice stand. Um, actually welded the base together the other day and uh, used extruded aluminum for the rest of the stand. For those of you who choose to use the Mac Mover software, uh, basically, when you open up the folder, this is what you see. And you go ahead and double click where the 5 is and it says Mac Mover. Um, a max runtime splash screen will open up and then the application will open. Now you can see that it automatically centers all of the servos that are connected to it. And basically all you need to do is move these little uh, dials to where you want them set to for each of the motions you want your robot to make. And then you can shift click in one of these preset locations and that will preset the robot to do whatever it is that you set up in your dials over here. Um, there's a, a toggle switch here which turns on and off the counter which counts through your different presets and there's eight presets for each each gate and uh, they all start with preset one. Preset one is where they start and where they end so right now I only have two presets and you can see as I toggle back and forth between the two that they lift and lower the alternative diagonal legs. Okay, now separate from that, we have these touch pads and these pan and tilt your pan tilt servos. You can also center them by clicking on this button. Um, then for people who are using relays, these are toggle switches which turn on and off your guns. Currently the program is set to use um, to use your serial port 13 um, and so you have to set your serial port, your COM port, to be COM port 13. All right, so we're going to work on making the forward gate. So what I have so far is the starting position where all the servos are centered except for the feet are in their down position. And then I lift the two feet and that would be uh, feet numbers three and two. So now I'm going to move the feet forward and two forward. Wrong way. So let's we'll go with thirty. Okay. Uh, that's probably too far. Okay, perfect. And we will 
store this in slot number three. So I shift and click. Now, going back to the beginning, I've got the feet centered, it lifts two feet, it moves them forward, and now I need to put them down. So I'm going to move this back, this elbow, back to its center position. Uh, let's see, uh, type in the top one, 64. And this foot back into its down position, 64, enter. All right, and then I will store that here. Next, I'm going to lift up the opposing two feet, so that would be leg one. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we'll go with 40, and leg 4, go with 100, oop, wrong way. Okay, so 40 is the up position, and then we need to move these feet, oh, well let me store that, so I will shift and click, and now we need to move, move these feet forward while moving the other feet back. So here I'm going to move this to 100 is too far, so we'll go with 90. And I will move this one to is it 40. Into the top. Nope. Um, yes, okay, I'm moving forward. And I will move this one back to its original position. And this one back to its original position. And then we will store this here. Shift, click. Now I need to move these feet uh, that would be legs one, and back to the center position, turn it, type into the top, 64, enter, wait, no, that's not what I want. and this one. I'm going to lower, enter, and we will store that here. And then we will move uh, those two feet. Well, yeah, I guess we can leave that alone. So now I will show you guys what the robot does as we count through those positions. Now, what's nice about this is that the preset gets stored even if I close the program. Now, obviously this gate still needs a lot of work, but when you're done, you go ahead and minimize that window, and then you, in the max runtime window, click File and Exit, and it will go ahead and close everything out.